Business and Entrepreneurship Education Grade 9. In our previous lesson, we have learned about cooperatives. Today, in this lesson, you will learn about franchise. The learning objectives for this video are identify the various types of business organizations such as franchise, differentiate between franchiser and franchisee, Explain how to set up a franchise. List and explain the features of a franchise. Explain the advantages of a franchise. Explain the disadvantages of a franchise. And discuss the type of organization entrepreneurs may set up. What is a franchise business? A franchise is an enterprise that has a license from a franchiser to sell its products or services. It is usually a well-known business. Franchises are found all around the world. They are worldwide. There are two parties in a franchise business, namely the franchiser and the franchisee. Franchises can be found in different countries such as in Mauritius, in Malaysia, in South Africa and in France. Some examples of franchise business are KFC, McDonald's, Zara, Starbucks, and so on. This is an example of a franchise. Subway is a franchise where it has branches in Mauritius, France, China, England, Canada and Australia. Let us make some reflections. Write down the definition of a franchise and give some examples of franchises that you may know. You can also search online for more examples. How to set up a franchise? To set up a franchise, the franchiser, the owner, will sell a license to the franchisee, a buyer. The franchiser is the owner of the business. He sells a license of operation to the franchisee. Whereas, a franchisee is the buyer of the franchise. He sells the goods and services of the franchiser. Features of a franchise. Ownership. The franchisee buys a license of operation from the franchiser. Control. The franchisee runs and controls the enterprise. Take some minutes for the following. Who are the two persons needed to open a franchise? List the features of a franchise. You can leave some spaces to explain the features later. Advantages of a franchise. Franchises have three advantages. They are support and training, existing product, and a strong reputation. A strong reputation. 
As the franchise is a well-established brand, it has a strong reputation where the chance for failure is low. Support and training. The franchiser provides advice, management support and training to the personnel of the franchisee. Existing product. Most of the supplies, raw materials, are available directly from the franchiser. Disadvantages of a franchise. There are three disadvantages which are huge investment, profits to franchiser, and control by franchiser. Huge investment. The franchise license fee is very expensive for the franchisee to pay. Control by franchiser. The franchiser establishes strict rules over pricing and layout of outlet which reaches owner's control over one's own business. Profits to franchiser. The franchisee has to share part of his profits to the franchiser each year. You can make some reflections by Making a list of the advantages of a franchise. Leave some spaces to explain the advantages later. Make a list of the disadvantages of a franchise. Leave some spaces to explain the disadvantages later. Selecting the right business organization for my enterprise. Before opening an enterprise, an entrepreneur will have to select the right business structure. This decision will be influenced by several factors. Also, there are some major questions that the entrepreneur will have to ask himself before choosing the right business organization. Entrepreneurs are risk takers. Some entrepreneurs Change the type of organization they have. This is so because they want to raise more capital and grow. However, it can be discouraging because of expensive registration fees and long procedures. Factors affecting decision to set up an enterprise. The factors are ownership and control, Risk, expansion, registration and procedures, and continuity. Questions to consider before setting up an enterprise. An entrepreneur will have to consider the following questions. They are, who will own and run the enterprise? Will I have control over my enterprise? What are the risks I might have to take? What are the formalities involved when setting up an enterprise? And who will be responsible for my enterprise when I'm not available? You can make some reflections by listing the factors affecting decision to set up an enterprise and List the questions to consider before setting up an enterprise. Let's get curious. What is a multinational company? MNC. A multinational company has branches and operates in several countries, but the main office headquarter is found in only one country. The country of origin is also known as the home country. MNC manufactures products with same features, logo or names around the world. As you can see, an MNC has a headquarter in one country and branches in country A, country B, country C and country D. 
Here are some additional links that you may use for further information. Well, this is the last video on Unit 1, which was on business organizations, where you have learned about company, cooperatives, and franchise. Until the next, see you soon.